Hey everybody, Don here again. All right, happy weekend. I am over on Otter Pond. And when I pulled in over here, I was a little bit worried because I didn't look like anybody has been out here on the ice. I popped a test hole about 20 yards from shore. Ice is over a foot thick. I don't know why nobody's been here, but I'm gonna head out to that point. There's a deep spot out here and uh, see if we can rustle up some perch. Hang out. Let's have a look, see how deep it is. I think right about here, I bet I'm in 14, 16 feet of water maybe. And what do we got? 18 feet of water. Let's give it a go. All right. Just gonna start off with this little uh, Tungsten jig. I got a little white, uh, uh, no, a little clear split tail on it. I redid all my rods, put 10 pound braid on them, Power Pro Super Slick. Just to. Um, so I could feel it a little bit better. And then I have a, uh, about a two and a half foot liter of four pound mono. I'm gonna pop uh, a bunch of holes. I'm just gonna start working my way out to that point. If I don't see any action down at the bottom, I'm going to move real quick. I just really wanted to test the ice, see what we had for ice, and then uh, just see if there was anything showing up at all. All right, so I know we got good solid ice. I'm going to uh, on a boogie. Again, like I said, I switched up my line on these both of these reels and now have uh, Power Pro so I can feel the bite a whole lot better. And then I've got, I'm running a uh, about a two foot leader. see anything down at the bottom I'm you know just bouncing right off the bottom I haven't had any activity around it even if they're holding tight to the bottom I think I would see something so I'm gonna go a little bit farther and then I'm gonna head over to that point 
and I'm just gonna keep moving. We got nasty weather coming in tonight and tomorrow's supposed to be rain all day so I'm not too sure we're not gonna we're not gonna lose ice but we're gonna get slushy as it can be. Boy, big pressure crack here. Holy moly. Somebody had a bob house here though. Let's, uh, let's pop a hole. This might be the spot. anything in deep water so now I'm going to investigate that crate over there then I'm heading over to that point now that point over there I had some good luck last year I also caught some bass over there let's move running and gunning I thought I saw something down there earlier, but there's nothing down there now that I can tell. I'm going to keep heading towards the point. There's a marker buoy over there. There's a rock outcropping that comes up. And it goes from about 16 to 20 feet of water. It goes up pretty quickly. I'm going to head all the way over there. I don't have time to, I don't have time to mess around. something or it gets dark. Just got home and uh, I kind of forgot to do an outro out at the lake because uh, as I was coming off the lake I uh, met a woman and her daughter and they were walking their dog and they wanted to know if the ice was safe to walk on and I said oh yeah just stay away from the dark areas and you should be fine 
Um, and then I heard a little yip and their dog took off and one of my poles took off behind him. So he'd gotten a, uh, a jig hooked in the back of his neck as he was sniffing around. And, uh, luckily it hooked, most of it hooked the collar. And so the uh, barb didn't go in, uh, but it was a little bit of a fiasco and, uh, yeah, forgot to do an outro. So anyways, Kind of a bust on this lake. I runned and gunned all over the place and could not find a fish. Nasty, nasty weather coming for this weekend. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing any other ice fishing, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Thanks for coming along. Peace.